Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, you will learn about rule-based calendars in Control-M. Rule-based calendars are a powerful scheduling tool available in workload automation. To start using one, we create a new one by starting up the Control-M workload automation GUI, going to the planning domain, selecting the tools ribbon, and then clicking calendars. In the editing section of the ribbon, we can click the new button, and click rule based. Now we give our new calendar a name. Suppose we want a set of jobs to run on the second last Tuesday of every month. We could name it second last twos. We want to keep the length of the name under 20 characters. Now we can select the kind of schedule we want. For the second to last Tuesday of every month, the best option is month days. Then we can select days from end of month. This section here indicates counting back from the last day of the month. For the second to last whatever day, we want to extend this by clicking the arrow and then selecting the 8th through the 14th last day of the month. Then we click Limitations to expand it and select Tuesday. We want this to be on every month, so we'll leave all selected for months. If we have Forecast installed, then to confirm we have it right, we can click View Schedule, and we see that the second to last Tuesday of every month is selected. Once you have your calendar set how you want, click OK, and then Check In. Now say we want a job to run according to the union of two calendars we've already defined, like the second last Tuesday and the last day. To do this, we will need to assign both calendars to the job. If the job is in a smart folder, then we need to add all needed calendars to the smart folder. First, on the scheduling tab, Control M rule based calendar. We do not want to remove the everyday calendar because we still want the folder itself to be ordered every day. Once added to the smart folder, we can add those same calendars to the jobs inside. As before, if we have Forecast installed, then we can click View Schedule to make sure that this job will run when we intend. And as we see, the second to last Tuesday of every month and the last day of every month. Thank you for your time. The Workload Automation Support Team looks forward to helping should you need our assistance.